Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of r slash just no mill. In today's episode, someone print screened our newborn slash family photos and mill posted it in her FB. MIL keeps commenting on my size while pregnant. Stalker crossed documented boundary, we reported her. Before we get started make sure to subscribe so you will never miss a video. So let's get started. Someone print screened our newborn slash family photos and Mill posted it in her FB. Just ranting and wanted to get this off my chest. It's also my fault and due to my hormones, but still. We have been in no contact with my in-laws for four years now. They are both blocked in social media. I posted our newborn photos and tagged my husband on it. Yesterday, someone told me that my mill posted the same photos and had a caption about Father's Day. MIL knew we don't want her to get hold of the photos so she restricted who can view her posts but she forgot to include a common friend. I'm assuming one of my husband's relatives print screened the photos and sent it to her. Gah! I'm so annoyed I didn't think about that, my hormones were just excited and happy to post the newborn pics and forgot about the flying monkeys. I know it's petty, but I'm just annoyed that the person who print screened the photos knew our story and crossed boundaries. I believe you can report what she's done to FB, posting unauthorized pics of a minor, and they will take down the pics and suspend her account. You're not being petty or unreasonable. You're upset because she's doing something she had no business doing. Yes, report and have it removed. Can't you get FB to take it down? If someone posts a pic of your kid against your will? I can't because I have to access to the post. FB is asking for the link. I would put a watermark on every picture you post stating no one has permission to repost it. If you ever send people any photos individually you can add smaller one, just make it unique to that person. If you did act and they lifted, all you have to do is check and see which watermark it has and you who sent it. It won't help for the current situation in Afraid, but it can help to stop it in the future. Assuming the way I wrote that makes sense. I've had to do this myself. The unique watermark made it impossible for the person to say it wasn't me and they haven't received a single picture since. Thanks. Totally makes sense. But I forgot about the negative side of posting pics and did not consider the flying monkeys. I was full of hormones and was just too happy because of my newborn. Lesson learned. Unfortunately flying monkeys are a big part of why I got rid of my small. I have two Instagrams, one for the public where no family stuff is posted and one super private. My private one has quite literally 20 people on it and all of them are 100% trusted. Not a single in-law or potential FM can follow me on it. All the more reason to stay off of and keep your child off of social media. When it comes to posting online, anyone with a modicum of effort can find a way to get to your posts. Also, sometimes it's so hard to discern who the flying monkeys are. As long as you have people close to you who are also close to MIL, she'll be privy to all your info, unfortunately. Someone sent my mom a photo of our pregnancy announcement, which was very intimate to us. I have no idea who it was and I can't delete everyone because of it, though I'm leaning of doing so, so as a result husband and I agree absolutely no photos of our child on social media. It was something we were thinking of before the incident, but after that happened we felt it best. And no one is allowed to take photos of our baby without informing us and especially not post on social media. I wish I could legally do something to prevent it all but I cannot so I have to take strict measures. Can you find the culprit who sent it to her? I think there might also be a way to report it even though she is blocked. It's not petty, OP. Not at all. I think I know what you're feeling. It's 100% a violation of your privacy and wishes and you have every right to be upset. I'm sorry she did that. It's very crass of her. She knows she's NC. JFC, what arrogance to post your baby as though she's involved in baby's life or something. 
I'm really glad you found out this early. Your friend did you a great favor in telling you. Now you know the lengths M.I.L. will go to get attention for herself. Thank you. I feel validated. She's done this before for our wedding photos. She directly contacted our photographer and asked for a copy of the wedding pics. M.I.L. keeps commenting on my size while pregnant. Maybe I'm being too sensitive, LMK. I am in the camp just because I'm pregnant doesn't give you free reign to talk about my body slash weight. I started showing early probably, I'm short and also I went off of medicine that suppressed my appetite previously. It makes me self-conscious and uncomfortable especially because I had to hide it till 17 weeks BC of a false positive NIPT then an amnio to clear it up. Anyways my mother-in-law keeps making comments like wow you are really pregnant looking, at 18 weeks, I can't believe how big you look already. 19 weeks, etc. The first time I was polite but visibly and clearly annoyed. My sister was there never sides with me even agreed. This last time I said probably even more annoyed sounding yep and I really don't like to talk about it to which she replied oh come on. I'm assuming she gets the picture now but I thought she did the first time too. But should I have my husband say something? But I feel bad in my own skin right now and have to try to wear flattering clothes around her. And then she makes these comments and I get so self-conscious. I want these comments to stop but I don't want it awkward and I'm afraid my husband when talking to her will make it more about me and not we. She's a nice person but like read the frickin' room. I really think you could say something like, I know you don't mean anything by it, but I'd prefer not to hear comments about my body. That's not rude at all, so you shouldn't feel awkward. The next time she does it, which she will, you can say, I've mentioned this before, so please refrain from making comments about my body. Leave the room if she responds with anything other than genuine understanding and apology. That's a very mild way to approach the situation, but it sounds like you want to err on the side of gentleness here. Ignore me if that's not the case. I'm sorry she's so rude. This is a good response. My MIL constantly talked about how huge I was, asked how much weight I've gained, Nunya biz, and so on. I told my husband I hated it when she made those comments. He said he would talk to her but obviously didn't or she just refused to listen. So next time she talked about how huge I was I just smiled and said yeah and looks like you're putting on sympathy pregnancy weight. She stopped after that. Bonus points if you can work in her age. Ha! Huh. That's awesome. Do you call all pregnant women fat, or just me? What she's saying is gross and she should know it, having had kids herself. Deadpan. Yep. I think that's supposed to happen. Yeah. And? You know, you've said that a lot lately. Just raise your eyebrows give a suspicious look. My MIL didn't say anything, within earshot, at my shower, but she was up visiting when my son was like 9 weeks old and said you were huge at your shower after insisting that I drive so she could spend time with my son in the back. I straight up just said well that's rude and she tried to backtrack. I followed up with yeah, just because I was pregnant doesn't mean you can say sh asterisk t like that. She hasn't brought it up since. I always 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 respond to nonsense like this with how embarrassing for you. Oh wow you're lacking on manners, how embarrassing for you. What an ignorant thing to say, how embarrassing for you. Do you not know how pregnancy works? How embarrassing for you. You should learn social skills, how embarrassing for you. Laugh. Every. Time. Perhaps with the added look up and down with embarrassed look on face, with added sigh and shake head with slightly raised eyebrows? Or this can be used on its own in some circumstances. Wow you are really pregnant looking. Wow, you're really old looking. Amazing what biology does, eh?
You've mentioned this 432 times are you having a hard time understanding or is it coming to grips with it? Sorry if that seems rude, but welcome to hormones, another part of biology, that tell me I don't want to put up with your repetitive bullsh asterisk t right now. Yeah, I know, dream answer, but cut loose and blame it on the hormones. You've made your point. Pregnancy makes me gain weight. Let's set up a challenge, shall we? For every time you mention my size after this, you wait another week before seeing the baby. Let's see if you can make it to six months. Stalker crossed documented boundary, we reported her. Swearing slash mentioned word child abuse no details. Edit to add, stalker is Jamil nickname, comes from post history of the day she stalked us around a parking lot in her vehicle while I was trying to breastfeed my son while so picked up groceries and supplies. Thanks to a quick search here on the sub, we've reported stalker Jamil half a dozen times yesterday to Book of Faces. Reported as metadata and inappropriate content for child under 13. So is a huge advocate in groups that help with children that have in some way been abused or exploited. He's trying to be the advocate he never had as a child. She had posted several pictures of our 15-month-old publicly. A dear friend alerted our auntie who let us know she had posted more recently. Unfortunately, my so during a brief interaction over the FaceTime contract sent one new picture to his stupid mother because she stated she was barf sad. Boo hoo. I lost my sh asterisk t yesterday when I found out. Not exactly a shining moment but I am so over this shit. So has apologized, therapy has been drawn in the sand. So as Jamil lawyer seems to think she's been following the contract the past 90 days. I'm sorry you fucked up. Provision 1 No posting pictures of our underage child on any social media, safeguarding, privacy before consent. No nope nopity nope. I'm laughing my way to our lawyer here to document this. What a joke. I hate her, she's ruined another family day. It sounds like JNMIL is trying to ruin her own case by doing things she knows she shouldn't. I guess she just can't help herself. Good luck with this. Oh boy. That's just so wrong. I'm glad you've got a lawyer to help you through this. If you made it to the end of the video, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share and we will see you in the next video.